that's a thing that gets everybody is the god neck mm -hmm. the neck you know because very few guys really strengthen their neck correctly either i think the neck is one thing that you absolutely should strengthen i think you can get away with not lifting weights and doing jujitsu but i don't think you can get away with not strengthening your neck for very long yeah that's uh it's one of those things and it connects you to the rest of your freaking body you also use it you use it more than you think you know especially me i was uh my my favorite technique is probably head and arm choke so, and you're using your neck mm -hmm. to secure that arm mm -hmm. and once you develop a feel for holding that arm in place with that neck that neck gets a workout man <laughs> you know you really you use it a lot more than you think and if you can strengthen your neck it, it's just it's such a big advantage it's also a big advantage in avoiding getting hurt because it strengthens the whole chain from the top of your spine all the way down you know that's why i'm such a big fan of that iron mm -hmm. neck I just used it right now, right, mm -hmm. be right before uh, the podcast. I was doing it. I do it every fucking day, man. I put that. I have one. On and, oh, I bought one. Love it. They emailed me a bunch. They're like, bro, how do you like it? I'm like, it's all good. It's fucking awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, between that and, you know, there's a few other back exercises and stuff that I think are, are critical. Strength in the lower back, too, because it's another thing that guys always get jacked is their lower back. Yeah. You know, the weird thing is people, people, people's necks get jacked up regardless like there's people that go through life doing whatever paperwork and they end up with a bad neck. Yeah. Neck is a vulnerable thing. So if you don't it take is. care of it, especially when you are abusing it, when you are getting choked, when you are not tapping, it's uh, one of those things. That I judge come people out. on their necks. On the size of their neck? Yeah, if I see someone with a little skinny neck, I yeah. just go, what are you doing, man? Yeah, do some, go do it's some bridges. Good. It just doesn't seem like it would be a good thing to have. It's, that's the thing that holds your head on. I can't wait for the future when your neck is all jacked up and you go in and they just put you in surgery for two hours and yeah. you come out, you got a metal spine. You think I, that's what's gonna oh happen? yeah, I'm gonna be the first person. I'm I'm right in line. You wanna give me a metal spine or any metal components inside my body? You're down with that? I'm 100% down. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Eddie's got a fake disc. Eddie's got a titanium articulating disc. Which, where? Lower back. His, his lower back had been so smashed and suppressed that um, his, you know, that's one of the things that's why men when they get older they they shrink as your discs get squished to the point and they start touching you get st uh, stenosis do you think you can go too far with flexibility that it starts to injure you over the long term well i don't think you can go too far with flexibility but flexibility without strength perhaps because maybe that inflexibility like maybe you'll get like some muscle damage you know, when you're trying to push too far, and that'll prevent you from getting disc damage. Mm -hmm. Maybe. That's just speculation. But I think it's crit It's just so critical to strengthen your back, man. I mean, I'm always doing reverse hypers, and I do all these different, like, uh, back extensions. Mm -hmm. I just think strengthening that whole column, and yoga in particular, and then the neck, the iron neck, I just think that whole thing... It's like too many guys just rely on their workouts to strengthen that, and they don't take it as like, hey, I really like doing jujitsu. I really like doing Muay Thai. I'm going to put in the time to work out these areas.